Hello? Ah, yes, it's on. Hello, everyone. It's Julie Christine, and I'm getting ready for Christmas. Um, some would say early, but for a girl like me, Christmas is every day. So it feels um, kind of natural and good, even before Halloween, to put up a tree. Um, look this way, I think you'll see. There's the tree. There's the golden carpet. Ah, for the golden age, there's Jesus. There's the White House and the Dalai Lama. And anyway, a lot of peace and ideas about how we can manifest those kind of heart feelings as a human race. I kind of bounce all of that around me in my environment because that's the tantric energy that woke up in 2003 in Maui, in me. So I call it mother. Um, <clears throat> of course, <coughs> excuse me. Um, certain intelligences and feelings that we call love or mother um, also are carried in fatherly feelings or brotherly masculine. But the, um, the context of which I'm presenting this Christmas season early, I'm getting a run and start for this Christmas, is um, to also introduce myself to you because I've been giving a lot of videos up until now <clears throat> um, regarding a multitude of topics mostly centering on politics and weapons and law. So who I am is your Tantra teacher. Now, you might not even think you need a Tantra teacher or there's already a billion Tantra teachers out there or who am I to say that I'm anything or... But I am. And I'm going to be giving you reasons why you need Tantra. We need Tantra. And the way I'm going to explain Tantra in a very simple term is union with our pure light nature. Tasting it directly, feeling it, awakening it, letting it move through your seven chakras, working the issues that have accumulated through lifetimes of our seven chakras. And um, for our first Tantra class for the White House, um, we're going to focus on the third chakra. And the third chakra is power. And we're human beings, so we're going, this is my first lesson, I guess, to offer America. But America is consciousness of we the people. So... When I say America, yeah, I'm talking to the voters. Iowa, California, Wisconsin, you know, all the places that you are. Oh, call yourself American, great. But I'm also talking to our relatives and ancestors in the spirit world as well as in the neighbor world of America. We're all in this together. So the idea of America and the White House and our third chakra shifting power is your first Tantra um, event. So I'm here to convince you, A, that it can happen, and B, that peace is not that difficult. You know what's difficult? Sustaining war. It's costly. It's costing life. It's costing money. It's costing tears and agony. Why would anyone uphold a system which is built on arms and prisons and torture and lies would we do that anymore? We wouldn't do that anymore. That's the third power, chakra shift. Because patriarchy and fear and man with weapon is not our third power choice. That's been our path. We're aware of that non-judgmentally and we now have our power shift to compassion. That's why I put the light above the White House. That's not about who put the light above the White House? Who dared put the spiritual son of Tibet above the White House and post it on Twitter? It's not about the who. It's about the fact that we understand what that is doing, what that means. That's Tantra. That's having a realization or an aha moment. And that's more than just our third chakra. That becomes like our sixth and our seventh chakra, our crown chakra of our connection with the divine gets to come through and have an aha moment and go, Holy cow, absolutely, how beautiful would it be 
for the human race to collectively say, yes, thank you, Your Holiness Dalai Lama. This party is for you. We look forward to your return home to your very beautifully renovated with the monks' guidance. All the Chinese workers got jobs renovating Tibet under the guidance of compassion because America made a shift. Compassion becomes our human ground. That's the Statue of Liberty. Like, if there has to be an identity, if we, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Okay, I am somebody with no followers. I am somebody who has um, awoken a certain energy because she went intense red hot into tantric sexual spiritual awakening and then she went serious close down in 2003 for tantric spiritual sexual celibacy all the way till now which brings us to what is Tantra. And I'll tell you this in simple form. Tantra is getting to know yourself deeper. Tantra is telling yourself the truth. Tantra is change. Tantra is good news. When you're taking responsibility for good change. Now I say it makes good sense to not fuel that which is taking life and arming and bombing see that second chakra, masculine phallic activity, and third chakra, power, and recognize, oh, mm -mm, yeah, that was the past. That's our past history from our second, third chakra. But now we're in Tantra. We serve Tantra now because some lady started talking and it made sense to me. And I want to know about this second and third chakra transformation because the guys and the guns, y'all can separate. The troops, and you can detach. Buddha talked about attachment. Yeah, we're attached to fear when it comes to a gun. And we're attached to wrong thinking that it's protection. Okay? So that's kind of a global man issue. Tantra is also about loving other. So one must also first identify with what one might consider self. So I'll say I am self, I am woman, I am female, I'm self, and man is other. So Tantra is also about learning how to love other. And when one goes deep into oneself, one finds its instinct to love other. To love other beyond there is not even the self, there's just love. And that's an instinct, a law of attraction, if you will, Oprah, that Tantra, this girl's Tantra, would represent a country aiming towards and dedicating its power and its intention and its intelligence to go inwards to find and to touch. That intelligence, that innate like and instinct, that innate care, so to speak, that's in every human being, but we are not setting ourselves up for success by aligning with a mindset that is of the patriarchy age, that is of bombs and guns and freedom's not free, it'll cost you your life, it'll cost you death and taxes. Yeah, that's the wrong kind of freedom. That freedom isn't free. It's very costly and we don't want that freedom because that freedom's not free. We have a freedom to love ourselves and love our neighbor and we want to try that out now and make this country great. Everybody get a good job. Cleaning up the oceans, cleaning up the air, apologizing to your neighbor, a billion different things that we're gonna do. That's Tantra. Taking your attention off of terror and turning it into your, your um, Tantra relationship with your seven chakra experience. So who am I? I am your Tantra mirror. I'm your Tantra cheerleader. I'm your Tantra coach. I'm your Tantra alchemist. I'm your Tantra drop the word like it's the most fanciest word you could ever say. I'm Tantra. I am your Tantra spiritual political alchemist. And I'm also your White House gardener. And I would like to plant my Christmas tree at the White House. And the White House is exactly 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C., United States, uh, North America, that's where it is. I know exactly where it is, and it's all around. It's right behind me, too. If you see Amachi's face behind me, see the eyes, 
the hands of, and then see Santa and then see His Holiness Dalai Lama above Amma and they're both above the White House and to the other side of Amma is the Statue of Liberty with the flame. Can you all see that? I don't know. You may not. But anyway, right behind me. Um, oh, now I got all excited. I lost my train of thought because I'm about to close this under 13 minutes. Um, this Christmas tantric download. What was I saying? I'm your tantra this, I'm your tantra that. I was trying to define who I am and what I'm here to do for this country. And this country means we the people, humans, and compassion coming together because we want it. But what was I going to say? Somebody help me out. I was on a train of thought. I'm going to watch this video back and be like, ah, oh, you didn't close the circle. You were saying something and then it was about Ama, White House, Christmas, seeds, tree, planting tree at White House. Oh, it was describing the tree that I said I wanted to plant at the White House, the Christmas tree. Give examples of the Christmas tree. And my Christmas tree, I'll show you, at the bottom of the tree are weapons which are given as gifts to the tree of love. And then the tree of love transforms all the weapons into beautiful mountains with, with beautiful trees around those mountains and waters that are flowing down the mountains that are fun to play on and also sacred healing waters that go out and feed the, the community. So this tree of life is growing in every country symbolically. In, in my tree, in my living room, this one, this tree, I'll show you. Do you see underneath? Those are weapons and, and all the different regimes of man that carries weapons and all the different heads of state that have walked and paraded pompously in front of all these boys that are trained down and to carry the product and support the business of, of, of killing. Because that's what the gun equals. Gun equals killing. Humans kill people with guns, and it's a, it's a manifestation of false power. Well, it's an activation of the power to kill, but that's not true freedom. So your freedom isn't to get freedom in order to, to exercise your right to take life, because that's a wrong, and most all religions in the root recognize it as a wrong. And also most all religions desecrate their religions by taking life and doing it in the name of the religion. That's called deception. Jesus told us all about it. And he's like, oh, the beast will go every which way. But, you know, you have to have discernment and see through it. And, and I do. So I'm your Tantra um, discernment coach for sixth, your vision of what we're doing now, what we're fueling, what's going to expand, how we're going to reverse and try to undo and try to work off a lot of negative karma that we accumulated since Y2K. But doing it as a team, as a human team, to help the earth regenerate intelligently. Not a one of us sustaining the, the weapons business. It's costly to happiness. It's costly to life. It's costly for money. It's a terrible, terrible business. And humans are trapped in it. And I'm here to free them. Because that's what Tantra is. Tantra is freedom. Authenticity. Your true nature. But military doesn't allow you to discover your true nature because it puts its mind in your mind and it controls you with fear and the weapon and then the propaganda and so on and so on and so on. Any American soldier, any policeman, any hunter, anybody with the gun is the exact same as Hitler. So don't you separate yourself out from him. And now we're going to forgive all of you and we're going to transform all of you as a team. Man is not here to kill man, beat woman, and rape. That is just a suffering second chakra that we are here to heal, tantrically heal. This is medicine for the second chakra. Instead of phallic pain and suffering, missiles shooting off like ejaculations of service to the devil, the destruction to kill, but you can get riches and build towers or something, now I call man, see that, free yourselves, and transform those weapons into some cool-ass real mountains and towers. Let the tree guide you into what you could do for better business, for longer life, for more communication between all men on earth. Because y'all are all cool deep down. 
and you all could get a guitar, come to Maui, surf, check it out, feel, have a meet and greet, sip a coffee, welcome to the civilization. Because here in the real world, we don't solve problems, and we don't walk around as the law where it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the guns that they'll strap on and carry on this earth. That's a sure sign of second chakra enslavement. So Tantra is also, I am your freedom coach, freeing the sexual energy of the second chakra to be in service now to one's heart intelligence, to not get bypassed on the third chakra of the fear and get sucked down with the dark karma, male or female, gun or no gun, war starts in the mind. And last I checked, uh, our American, all the presidents, all the Congress, all the justice people, all the citizens, nobody be vetoed war. See, so we're all in the same, we're all Hitler. And when we get that, that will be what we call a realization. And then when we speak it, that will be called exercising free speech. That's what I work for. So I work for free. I'll always work for free. What I'm hoping is that everything that I need will just continue to be, I live simply, I don't need much. It'll just continue to, you know, I have, I have whatever I need when I need it. That's perfect. And then I can just continue to guide as your Tantra guide. Why am I uh, an expert? Why do I have the audacity or the confidence to say that I am a Tantra coach for the presidents, exactly. Um, that's exactly what I'm saying I am. Um, because I've lived through some more extreme facing fear situations, um, different scenarios. I took the path less traveled in many different ways because I am one of everybody, but by doing and going deep symbolically on many levels the last 15 years, from 15 years of celibacy and being a bag lady and facing the fears of dying alone and full on rejection and, and you can just, it goes on and on and on and on and on. Mixed with coming with raw passion power to wake up and meet my inner or the outer to come in to merge, so to speak, not with other, tantrically, I came to this island to merge with the Divine Mother, to wake up the female Shakti inside, to, to know myself, to feel myself from the inside out. And that's what Tantra gives us if you go all seven chakras, you know, the physical act of, of sacred spot healing and conscious, intentional um, communions on different chakras, especially in the second chakra with the physical, is very potent Tantra as well. I can guide you through those places because I've been there. I left there as well. So I've, I can move around in and out of those areas to help um, women and, and, and men help women um, how to awaken these kind of energies and men how to support her in doing that because I've been there, done that. And I also know how to help people who are um, have, have to deal with fear and alone or invisibility or not mattering or, you know, the, the feeling of not being connected to others because that also can be healed and awakened at the same time to connect inside, deeply inside our own selves, the deeper we can do that, then the deeper we can be connected with others, even if we're physically separated from them, even if we're like taken and we're in a prison and, and held in solitary confinement and you have no way of, of physically um, seeing uh, love, loved ones, but you have the memories these kinds of learnings that we're going to be experiencing around the concepts of love and healing and outer prisons and inner prisons and outer disarmament and inner disarmament and how we can train as men how to do this kind of healing mind activity intention for women. That could be a job. And, and so there's so many 
ways that we can offer new, better jobs for any enlisted serviceman or woman in any country because we all have social media and we all see Kim Jong-un standing next to a nuclear bomb and we all see that that looks like a, a huge symbol of the masculine penis going using its power to destroy. A hater of life. A missile is a hater of life. A gun is a hater. A nuclear bomb is a triple threat. It's, it's hate. It's hate of life. It's kill the mother, destroy, but survive the species and, and evolve the species into something that's really not a human. It's a machine. But it's not. See, there is humanity in us. That's Tantra. We're going to go in and touch our humanity. And my humanity wants to touch Kim Jong-un's humanity and Xi Jinping's humanity and George Walker Bush's humanity. I want to bring gather for a Tantra talk these these phallic leaders that are dropping hate and paying people to carry hate and keeping us in that paradigm. Uh, it's way too much suffering, more than the earth can bear. And it's way too much stupid, more than our intelligence can see now. There is absolutely no way we're going to continue through this weapon age without shutting the door free willingly on weapons. So my tree, my Christmas tree that I want to plant at the White House in this very real year, 2017, is a symbolic tree of life where men of all nations free willingly offer their gun. Like for the three kings that came and offered Jesus things, now, you know, Jesus is the tree. You know, Christmas tree came, he's the tree, now give him your gun. And then his sister, his daughter, lineage 2,000 years later, will use that gun to transform it for you with the faith of a mustard seed. If Oprah even had a faith of a mustard seed, these things and more could happen. So visualize with me. This is your sixth visionary Tantra coach communion this October. Visualize with me. Uh, a natural law of attraction this Christmas to brotherly love and weapon um, mountain recycle camps and cool news on the news about how guys are getting so creative with transforming these weapons and missiles into cool hotels and all kinds of videos showing how this tree of life actually sprouts um, all kinds of businesses and that this Christmas His Holiness Dalai Lama is like a symbolic Santa to the world and by the world and the children who all got gifts from Santa we give a gift back and we send and bring Santa home with all of our blessings that's what it means by arresting the leader of China arresting the leader of North Korea arresting the leader of Russia arresting in the name of love every leader of every armed force. And that's not a bad thing. Arrest sounds bad. Arrest means save, free, bring you to the love, reality, um, Western land. Show the great dream for humanity. It's us living the dream. So now we live it, and we're not going to keep living the nightmare where we really do, boys, Gunmen, I'll show you. Who? Oh wait, I can't get up because I'm just wearing my nighties. Um, okay, hold on. Uh. This. Talking to all the guys, all the guys. Who dress like this? Here's ISIS guys, see? And Hitler. China. Brits. It's a man thing, and now they're getting women into it. So, vision um, this tree that can talk and can communicate with your free will, and vision that in your in the Middle East, your country, 
everywhere, every country, that this is an Olympics of transforming our base medals into a golden age. And what that looks like, for real, is an Olympic Games that every country, that country, is transforming its own weapon stockpile into a cool blueprint of whatever it is, whether it's a mountain or a hotel or whatever it is that they create that for the world to see, for man to come and um, when they visit, come to this place and where brotherly communication in every country is going to um, re-establish love roots. So I want, in order to stop terror, I want everybody to go back home, to your homeland, whatever that homeland is, and in that country or that religion, and and just establish a place where you can, as a team, man from Saudi Arabia, y'all are one team, man from China, you're all on one team, man from North Korea, you're all on one team. And in that Olympic uh, country, you all create your own facility, okay? Transforming the weapons, the missiles, the bombs, everything. Melt it, get creative, and that's a competition. And by 2020, we're going to see who won the competition. But the idea is that it's a lot easier to let go your gun when you see that everybody else is doing it. And it's a lot easier to not have a fear that you're going to get shot or get used or hurt by the gun when you're watching the gun transform into something that can only bring you an ecstatic state of an orgasm. Because I'm going to encourage you and show you blueprints for creating not only refuges, but places for your penis to have all kinds of healthy activity without getting any kind of sickness or having to penetrate any human flesh. This, you have no bounds with how much energy you want to move through your body and include your penis into it, and no human has to be touched. I want you to build your tantric mountains. I don't want you to get shot or shoot. I want to free you from Xi Jinping and all of the ideas of George Bush, all of the ideas of the salute. Scientology built on the salute. Scientology takes the Buddhist teachings, twists them through the, through the military mind, and then spits them out to be a machine, using itself as a church for giving people what they want when all it's doing is building itself to take people's money. It's a part of the money machine. The no compassion, the lie, the deception, the propaganda. But that is good news because that allows human beings to enter Tantra. Tantra is seeing through propaganda. Tantra is seeing through your pure nature and fueling our pure nature, acknowledging we have a pure nature. And, and going after that pure nature and activating that pure nature, that's what Tantra is about. Purifying. And it makes sense, does it not? Purifying our air. A lot of good jobs coming up with good ideas. And, and all the troops are keeping themselves busy by building their own compound. They're used to being in a compound, but they're just not used to transforming their guns and their houses. Like They get to nest now. They get to like build their own space, cool, 21st century millennial space age home mountain on in China wow, for the Olympic of coolness. Never to have torture prisons, never to have kill and executions, never again. Every country. That's the job for the, for the police and for the military as a project. Transform the weapons. And then the civilians, we have also many, many jobs that we're organizing ourselves to do. To help the communities, to distribute food, healthy food, to help fund healthy growing of um, organic farms and seeing what that country needs. This is the Olympics of communication. So... We are not going to allow ourselves the divided mind of thinking we're all different countries and then we're going to dress in different, in the same ways, using the same product and destroy each other. See, the Divine Mother and the Divine Father inside of us does not want that to happen. And 
the only reason it's happening is because we are not in communication with our divinity, our mother inside, our father inside. And you'll know if you are because, especially with father, because you'll feel a law of attraction to our father, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, who is holding a heavenly consciousness for us while here on earth which is exactly what Jesus did. He held the heavenly consciousness through the torture, through the murder, and then after. He gave us a way out, but we are continuing to serve Satan as we continue to kill our neighbor and drop bombs on Jesus' head. The Middle East is his home. Thanks, Brock. A lot of bombs, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. I think it's time we have a come-to-Jesus moment in our heart and really take a look at what we've done. And we used big words like responsibility and change and wrote in on Martin Luther King's greatness. I'd like to bring the leaders back, okay? Let's just bring it back, Oprah. And let's go back all the way to Y2K. And let's just talk. And let's just clear the tables. And let's have the troops of all the nations are watching these talks and they're interested. And it's pure. It's funny, it's funny dressing seven warlords up like the seven-headed beast, getting tamed by some girl that's drunk on love, you know? That's funny, because a seven-headed beast could just be like seven presidents with special hats on, right? But no clothes. <laughs> that makes me laugh every time, I don't know why. It must be 15 years of celibacy. Seeing Xi Jinping, George Bush, all, oh, nothing makes a man feel more vulnerable than losing his pants in public, so. <laughs> and I would like to put them on a flagpole. Oh, God, so many tantric fantasies of our pure natures becoming friends. Human beings were built for friendship, and there's so much happiness we can be feeling, so much goodness we can be discovering. Millennials, it's really up to you guys. And then... Mamas, it's up to y'all. Because if every mama calls her son and says, come home, leave the gun where it is, or, or we get a plan, I don't know, but I, I really am putting my Christmas wishes out early this year. And um, the end. <laughs> uh, good night. And I'm going to dedicate the virtue of any prayers of holding a view for compassion, awake in humanity, and us enlisting in us tantric troops and exiting free willingly our terror with a very clear and realized plan coming from the White House. I dedicate these thoughts um, so that any virtue which arose from those thoughts can be dedicated uh, for all human beings to become omniscient and defeat the enemies that harm us, the mental enemies, which keep telling us to bear arms, for example, so we can free ourselves from the mental enemies and, and make friends with the outer enemy and learn how to make friends with the inner enemy. Because when you make friends with it, it's no longer enemy dissolves. And there's just this ground of harmony. And we're just not in harmony, and we can be. And that's what Tantra is. It's about balance and harmony, authenticity, deep-rooted awareness, investigation of all your seven chakras, knowing what they are. What is my crown chakra? What is that? It's third eye. You know, we've got so much to discover. But I'm here as a human who has been participating in Tantra, Tibetan Tantra, since 2006. My own Tantra all by myself, going through all my fears, and bypassing motherhood, and, um, and, and shutting down into celibacy. Three years, 2003 to 2006, I was my own teacher. 2002 to 2003, Charles Muir was the catalyst for the Tantra. And 2001, my first guru, Greg Clamenzer, was the initiator of the Three Jewels in me, and the initiator of a um, healing path for my second chakra. And now 17 years later, I'd like to pay it forward and help man heal his second chakra, thereby helping him be a reflection to see that weapons are a reflection of a wounded penis. 
and this is going to be the age of long and happy life for man. You don't have to punch each other. You don't have to torture each other. You can get rid of your rage. You can use your words and feel things. There's a beautiful life ahead of you. And if there's any way I could ever be your commander-in-chief, I would command some serious, fun, good stuff for you. And I wish you would trust me a mustard seed pinky's worth than you seem to trust Bush and Obama and all the rest of them. That'd be cool. And I'm done. Good night. Uh, remember, you don't need my name. You just need to understand the symbolism of the Statue of Liberty and believe in a Christmas tree that's made up of we the people being the lights of the world, spiritual son of Tibet, of nonviolence, raised up above the White House as we the people reflecting all nations. This is liberty, one nation of human mind reflecting for all out to our neighbors, our home, our ancestors, our aliens everywhere. Harmony is our ground now. We're going to taste it. We're going to make that our ground zero. School and life and law and White House are going to merge. And we, the people, are going to be witnesses to our own awakening. Love has an intelligence. And we are here to access our fourth chakra. So I hope you sign up. I hope we really can get these things moving. And Merry Christmas. And happy coming home coming, Your Holiness Dalai Lama. The Potala is free because China is free and America got free. Thank you, Tibet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, love. And if that makes me a crazy girl, then call me crazy. But I believe, and I believe if Oprah believes, we're two or more girls, who knows what could happen. Good night. And Oprah, I'm, I'm in just down the mountain, girl. When you're up there on the mountain, anytime you want to come just down the mountain, I'm not difficult to find. I would love to talk to you in person and show you this tree and show you these books and get this thing. If there was going to be a Tantra movement, I would really like to get that ball rolling all the way to the White House. Okay, the end. Oh, and I, I still believe that we should um, contact the coach, Greg Clamenser. Oprah should contact the coach, Greg Clamenser, to um, give confirmation that change and radical change and awakening is definitely possible for human beings. We're all the same, basically. We're just mind and thoughts and consciousness. And being, uh, having a guy maybe ground in some of the things that I'm saying, it's like, yeah, change is possible and change for the better is totally possible. And a tantric inner journey and practice love and compassion in the outer world as our duty and ground uh, make sense from a man level too because the ground of man it doesn't make sense to go off and and, and torture and, and have it's gotten the heart's gotten subdued and trained down but when man penetrates deep enough into his heart he tastes his true nature too and that's what these camps will be about a healing of man because it's not powerful to have harm in your hand that's not power that's not protection it's protecting harm so I'm trying to help man see that. The minions, the servants, the servants, the little ones, not the big guys that walk in front of them. I'm trying to help the little guys. And I hope you can hear me, and I hope you believe in me, and I hope I can help. Aloha. Namaste.